hello guys so i want to uh, respond to my previous video i posted a video for you guys what oshomole said about uh, peter will be that there was insecurity during his tenure as an Ambra state uh, governor actually when i posted that video if you are here to watch that video you can go back to my previous uh, post and uh, check out that video oshomole criticizes um peter will be that when he was an Ambra state governor that uh, there was so much insecurity in the state that uh, Peter Obi should not be talking about how to handle insecurity in Nigeria. So I want to counter or to prove Oshumole wrong uh, that even the Inspector General of Police, you can see this is from The Nation. This is um, Tinibu's newspaper company himself. All right. Uh, during 2000, you can see that was uh, April 11, 2014. And by this time, Peter Obi was the governor of Anambra State. IG declares Anambra safest since five years. All right. Okay. Um, I want to, you know, debunk what Oshimule said. Um, Anambra State was full of uh, Bakasi boys and Bakasi girls, bandy, ram robbers. Uh, Oshimule should not be talking about how to handle insecurity in Nigeria. So I want to, you know, quote Oshimule that um, even the IG himself, uh, Proved that Anambra was the safest state in Nigeria, okay, since five years. Okay, guys, um, the question is, why is these guys not talking about themselves? Why is PDP not talking about APC? You know, in Nigeria, they believe that uh, you use propaganda to win uh, election or to win the minds of people. That is politics for you in Nigeria. If you don't use propaganda... Uh, you will not win the minds of people. I believe it should be about selling your candidate, the achievement of your candidate, what your candidate did in the past years and so on. You shouldn't be criticizing other people just to spur them to the masses, all right? So that is the reason why I do a follow-up uh, video uh, to my previous video. You can check my previous video. You will hear what Oshumule said about uh, Peter Obi. All right, guys, um, like I told you, APC is not talking about PDP. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. PDP is not talking against uh, APC. Well, for me, I believe a pot cannot call a kettle black. Yes. What do you want to... What will uh, uh, Atiku Abubakar scam talk about, Tinibu? I really don't know. You guys should understand what I mean. And then the, um, what will Tinibu scam talk about Atiku Abubakar? Of course, they will tell you Atiku Abubakar was only... Um, a custom officer and then a vice president of Nigeria. But how come he acquires so much wealth? Yes. Remember what um, Obasan just said? I am quoting what Obasan just said, that uh, if they want to, um, you know, trace the loot of um, Atiku Abubakar that it can feed Nigeria for years, all Nigerians for years. So on the other hand, you guys know about uh, Tinibu. I mean, Nobody, they will tell you, nobody knows about the background of Tinibu, who was his father, um, his, his relative, and whatsoever, all right? How come he acquired so much wealth? What was his business? What was he into? But Peter will be, they already know that he was a businessman before even coming into politics. Okay, so I want to um, disagree with Oshumule uh, from what he said about insecurity in Anambra State. You can see from the nation IG declares an Ambra safer since five years. This was posted in the April 11, 2014. And by this time, Peter B was still the governor of an Ambra state. All right, guys, let me know what you think. I quickly want to give a follow-up story because I had to dig deep to find out something. Even Oshimule said, go and go, go. All right. He gave assignment and this is the result of the assignment. Oshimule, check my previous video. You can see uh, that um, statement from Oshimule. <laughs> uh, social media warriors go and google now we have googled and find out that inspector general of police himself agreed that anambra surfaced since five years and this was posted by the nation april 11 2014 and then uh during this period peter b was still the governor of anambra said all right let me know what you guys think uh, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your bell notification so you get updates whenever I publish a new video for you guys. See you in another video. Uh, that he left behind. Now, I think for those of you who are social media warriors, 
There are issues here that you need to speak to. Go to Google and look at the first six months of Governor Ubiano's administration in Anambra State. What you will find in YouTube is a Governor Ubiano using bulldozer to demolish houses of kidnappers and those who were involved in what they refer to as Bakasi boys or even Bakasi girls. Who was the governor where Bakasi developed in Anambra? And who solved the problem? So if a man couldn't fit a security challenge in his own state, which requires courage, how can he convince you that he will fix security challenge all over Nigeria? Don't take it from me. Go to YouTube and find out the first six, nine months of Governor Obiano, and then ask yourself, who was his predecessor? As I said, I don't want to look for trouble. I'm a smallish man. Anybody can deal with me. Then ask Gogo, who was Obiano's predecessor? If he tell you, Peter. And so, if he has solved the security problem, will Obiano be demolishing, using bulldozers to demolish people's houses? For houses of kidnappers? Bakasi boys and Bakasi girls? Bandits? So when they say, I will fix Nigeria, did you fix your state? The second issue uh, that he left behind. Now, I think for those of you who are social media warriors, there are issues here that you need to speak to. Go to Google and look at the first six months of Governor Ubiano's administration in Anambra State. What you will find in YouTube is a Governor Mbiano using bulldozers to demolish houses of kidnappers and those who were involved in what they refer to as Bakasi boys or even Bakasi girls.